The Nadiri dockyards are burning. Their Starhawk flees before us. Linden and Vanguard are within our reach. Vengeance is sweet, isn't it? But this is no time to get complacent. I've waited too long to let Linden slip away again. Admiral Sloan is adamant that the Starhawk be destroyed, but we cannot engage it directly. The tractor beam is too powerful. Instead, we must force them into the Ringali Nebula. There, Vanguard and their battleship will be erased from history. Our Empire has called us to serve. We cannot fail. Are we ready to begin? Our enemy is on the run. You have done well, Titan Squadron. But, in order to stop them, I need you to break off from the Overseer and fly ahead of the enemy fleet to set a trap. LT-514's calculations indicate that the remains of the Nadiri fleet is attempting to reach the New Republic capital of Chandrala. To do so, they must navigate the junkyard of scrapped Imperial ships they've been using to build that monstrous Starhawk. Poetic, <laughs> isn't it? We've detected several reactor cores in the junkyard. Titan, fly ahead of their fleet and use the cores to create a minefield on their path. Active cores will detonate when shot and devastate any ships nearby. That includes you. Wield this advantage cautiously. Destroy any Republic starfighters attempting to scout the dangers of the debris field. Your ties alone may struggle against the fleet's larger ships. Detonate the cores to take them out. If all goes according to plan, the Starhawk will either be destroyed in your minefield or be forced to divert into the deadly Ringali Nebula. Either way, we win. <laughs> I trust you see the wisdom in our strategy. Come now. Even damaged, the rebel fleet still presents a legitimate threat. We can't simply attack it in the open. Too exposed. Exactly. Sabotage is the answer. We pick the fleet apart, thin their numbers, and leave the Starhawk right where we want it. Defenseless. Precisely. If all goes to plan, you and the rest of Titan Squadron will have a clear run at the Starhawk, Lyndon Javes, and Vanguard. Ah, yes. Vanguard's squadron continues to be a vexing anomaly in my calculations. A problem you two are happily well positioned to correct. Good luck. I'll be monitoring you from here. I don't know how you can be so calm. I've never been more ready for a mission in my life. Good. Ride the adrenaline. But remember... Yes, Svarko, don't die. You said it a hundred times. None of us are replaceable. Actually, I was going to say I need you alive because if our plan works, there's a good chance we'll be fighting the Starhawk in the middle of a nebula. If that's how this ends, then I want that good old Von Reg Fury covering our backs. We came so close at Nadiri, and they slipped through our fingers. Not again. Not today. Pace yourself. Make sure that fire's there when I need it. Can we just get started? For this mission, you're authorized to fly a TIE Bomber or a TIE Reaper. You have a good eye.
Overseer. Titan is outbound and advancing ahead of the enemy fleet. Excellent. Dismantle their fleet in the debris field. They'll die here or divert the Starhawk into the Ringali Nebula. Squadron, on me. We're approaching the junkyard now. This isn't just a junkyard, Varka. It's an Imperial graveyard. How many different destroyers do you think they left out here? And what did the Republic do to their crews? Doesn't matter. We can't change what happened. All we can do now is deliver vengeance. Before we're done today, this will be a rebel graveyard too. as expected. You have time to prepare our trap. Copy that. Let's find those reactor cores. Remember, only active cores are explosive. And the rest are useless duds. Understood. How exactly are we rigging these cores to explode? We're not. The active cores are volatile. It only takes a few shots to detonate them. So the Rebels inadvertently created their own minefield. I love it. That core isn't active, so it's useless to us. Destroy it and move on. The proximity sensors on active cores will alert us to enemies in range of our explosives. If you hear the alarm, a ship is inside the kill zone. That's when we attack the cores and detonate. It's a dud. Ship is in the kill zone. I'm in position. 
ships are in range. Detonate the cores. Didn't need your help. Precision above all else. Their fleet must not reach Chandrilla. Kill that core. Kill those rebels. Look at that. Crack shot, Titan Three. The strategy is working perfectly. I should thank you. That's the way. Took them out. All X wings destroyed. The cores are safe. On your wing. Another convoy of corvettes have arrived, Titan. If that detonates, you're dead. Titan, regroup and prepare for the ambush. We're ready. Corvettes incoming. Do we have enough cores to take them out? We'd better. Threat eliminated. Took you long enough. Oh, 
nicely done. Frigate destroyed. That's an understatement. Overseer, what's the situation? Return to the Overseer for refueling. We have them right where we want them. The Starhawk is changing course. They're terrified of you, Titan Squadron. We've diverted the Rebels toward the Ringali Nebula. This is where Lyndon Javes and his wretched Starhawk will die. Can you talk? Reminder, damage fighters must be cleared by salvage teams. Do not approach. Bardo asked if I saw a way through that minefield Titan set up. But no matter what path we took, we'd lose the fleet. I know it. So the commander took Ardo's second choice. We're heading into the Ringali Nebula. No long-distance comms, sensors are almost dark. It's a gamble, but it's better than no chance at all. When those missiles hit us back at the dockyards, I thought the Temperance was done for. Full shields, and they still almost tore us apart. But we got Teresa and Titan Squadron to chase us, instead of destroying Nadiri for good. That's what matters. Our next steps are unclear, like walking into fog. Better get to the briefing room. Let me speak plainly, Vanguard Squadron. We're in trouble. We have the Overseer behind us, and Imperial reinforcements moving to cut us off. There's no way we'll fend them off. We need to send a distress call to our allies in the New Republic and hope they can reach us in time. The problem is, we're wounded, outnumbered, and the Ringali Nebula is already disrupting our long-distance communications. And luckily, General Sindula has located an old broadcast hub that once orbited a nearby moon called Galatan. If we restore the Galatan broadcast hub, we can send a distress signal to New Republic forces outside the nebula. Chief Mechanic Zarelda Sage will lead a repair team to do just that. She'll also locate communication satellites in the area to boost our distress signal. The more active comsats we have, the stronger our transmission will be. Teresa surely knows this too. We can suffer minor losses with the comsats. But the more we have working, the faster we can signal Chandrilla for help. If the Empire's fighters must not destroy the broadcast hub, we lose that. We won't survive. Keep Zerelda and the Comsat safe. I'll call for aid as soon as you get the signal strength high enough. From there, all we can do is wait. And hope. When I left the Empire, I tried to leave behind their views on morality and certainty. The core of Imperial doctrine is being certain that what you're doing is right. Doubt is seen as disloyalty. Now I understand that you have to look at your decisions with a clear heart and ask what more you could do, should do. For those who lead, doubt is necessary. The Starhawk Project represents hope for an entire galaxy. It's bigger than any of us. I know you'd rather be defending the Starhawk, but I promise that reactivating the broadcast hub is the best thing you can do to ensure the project's survival. Good luck. I know you won't let me down. This will work. Vanguard Squadron has handled dangerous assignments before and performed brilliantly. A deadly nebula on one side and a crumbling moon on the other. That gives us a slim margin of error. It's this or we come up with something more drastic. You know me, Ardo. There's always another way. Trust me, General, I'm aware. I'm just letting you know that my crew is feeling the strain. Noted. But I trust my people, you included. 
to make this happen. Sorry, not now. You're in a U-Wing, which is great news for me. I'll need all the support I can get out there. All these here's on the Temperance. I've never deployed on a mission. I just fixed up what came back. I might be nervous. Scared, even. But I've seen what you and Vanguard can accomplish together. I'm ready. I won't let you down out there. You know, after Endor, I wasn't sure about staying with the New Republic. I'd fought the good fight, even shaken that death mark. I didn't see the point in going legit, so to speak. Figured I'd cash out, then get back to doing what I do best. It was Grace who changed my mind. The day I was set to leave, she pulled me aside and told me something I'll never forget. She said, I'll miss you, Frisk. And back home on Dosh, my clan and I never got along. You're too loud, Ferrisk. Why don't you like hunting, Ferrisk? As soon as I could fly, I left. Made my own way. On my own. Until I met Vanguard. The only thing better than pulling one over on the Empire was flying with my Vanguard buddies. It had never occurred to me they felt the same way. Uh, the point I'm trying to make is... Whether it's a life or death mission, or just helping a Trandoshan feel at home, we make it work. So yeah, things look bleak, but when Vanguard flies together, there's nothing we can't do. Especially with you around. And if we fail, we fail together. And no one will ever know because we'll be dead. <laughs> now that's a win in my book. <sighs> Ready to go when you are. Listen, I know things seem tough, but we've stared down death more times than I can count. Stranded in a nebula? That's nothing. We survived the Xavian Abyss. Hunted down by an Imperial fleet? So what? If they could stop us, they would have done it by now. This is war. Everything we face is gonna be tough. That's why the New Republic entrusted this mission to us, to Vanguard Squadron. No matter how hard it gets, how hopeless it seems, or how tired we feel, Vanguard, don't get in. Now let's go get them. keep the squadron flying. This is a support fighter specializing in disabling enemy fighters and empowering the squadron. 